cross the bridge your boy sir house of jazz and once again i'm dirt tight but it's all good down here working <laughs> uh this is a, um first of all this video is dedicated by the person um i don't know how you pronounce it but the name is spelled a s k e so i don't know if you say aske or if that's how you pronounce it ASCII. But I've been in communication with this person via the comment section for a minute. And then this song came up and then, we, we, you know, sent the donation in and asked if I can do it. I'm not familiar with the group. The name of the group is called Level 42. I'm not familiar with them until I listen to them now. And I'm like, yo, this is a nice group. So even though for those that might be that might have clicked this video and you like just curious, and those are some nice chords. You can use these chords. Because I know a lot of you um, like to take these chords and then you create your own songs with them. These have some nice chords and they have a nice style. They're real smooth. So the name of the song is called Why Are You Leaving? Or Why Are You Leaving Me? Or Why Are You Leaving? Is one or the other. With with the me at the end or without it. So a real cool song. And um, it's not that many different chords it just switches up a little bit here and there so what i did was i on on my chord sheet i have chord progression one chord progression two chord progression three and then bridge so let's go oh, and all that is now when they're doing the regular the beginning the verses and i guess the chords you can kind of say um that's what i'm getting ready to show you I'm going to show you that order. And I'll call out when I'm moving from progression one to progression two to progression three. All three progressions are done within a verse. All of it in chorus. I guess you could say verse and chorus. So let's start with chord progression one. That's the intro. The song starts like in the higher octave. But it's the same chords that I have listed in chord progression one. And then you go mm -hmm. that was the four chords right and I think it plays it twice maybe or only once and then you go right into it so okay so when you're going into the song just know that these chords that I'm showing you right now these first four chords are the same four chords that's played during the introduction same chords so okay all you gotta do is just play it an octave higher but I'm gonna show it down here so the first chord is D minor and it really you really want to have it in first inversion so i actually put that on the thing to make sure that you're playing it in first inversion okay so on um and it's over g d minor that's d as in door over g uh double g on the left hand right hand f a d uh, Tell me why are you leaving? I don't know if that's how you say the word or not. Um, sing the song or not, but it's something to that effect. Your next chord is an A flat major seven flat five over B flat. So B flat on the left hand, right? Because we said over B flat, double B flat. Now the chord on the right hand. If you're familiar with A flat major seven. There will be an A flat major seven, and all I do is just take the fifth and make it flat. Flat five. That's the second chord. Okay, there it is. A flat major seven flat five. A flat C D G. Okay, and that's over B flat. Your next chord is going to be a B flat minor over E. Flat over E flat <laughs> over E flat. Um, 
usually with whenever I figure out B flat minor to be a chord, I automatically make it a B minor seven. But if you do that with this tune, it just it's actually take it takes away from the song. It takes away of the sound that I can tell that they want it. If they want in this particular one, if they really wanted it to be a B flat minor seven, they would have did it. And if you and feel free to you know when you're listening to the song to try to play it with a with the minor seven, and you'll hear it like hold up, it, it it actually took away from the feel of the song. So keep it straight up B flat minor over E flat. So you got double E flat on the left hand. And always got that B flat if you want. And all I'm doing is this B flat, D flat, and F. I am not adding the A flat here, and I'm not even adding it here. I'm like, it's one of the few times you see in my tutorials where I keep a B flat minor that's empty. But to me, that's how it, it will take away from the song. So that's over E flat. And then the, the next chord, this is called an A flat major 13th, but we're not going to utilize every single note in that A flat major 13th chord. These are the only notes that I'm utilizing from that chord. So you got your A flat on the left hand, and then I got G, C, F. And then I kind of resolve sometimes. I hear it sometimes in the track, sometimes I don't. I'll just come down to the E flat right there. And before I go down, and E flat is a part of the, the normal makeup of an A flat major 13th chord. So, you know, E flat is, just, is in A major, is just the A flat major chord in general. So you're still within the grounds of an A flat major 13th chord. So those four chords again. Tell me why are you leaving? Da, 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 da. And then you play those four chords again, just like that. Da, da, da. to go to what I have on my chord sheet as chord progression number two. You're still in the verse. Um, the first chord is the same. You still do D minor over G. Okay, so that's so that's still the first chord, double G, left hand, F, A, D on the right hand. Now, the, again, this is your third time around. You're switching it up. You move to progression number two. Your right hand is still playing an A flat major seven flat five. But the first time we did it, you did it over B flat, right? B flat. All you're doing is now doing it over an E natural. That's what you're doing. You're just doing it over E natural this time, okay? So it's still an A flat major seven flat five, but this time over E. And I won't make you rewind the video for those that don't know what the A flat major seven flat five is here's here's the chord a flat c d g okay but this time it's over e now you still come back down this is normal that's that b flat minor over e flat remember the one that I said don't add the seven to same chord now there here are three chords that wasn't in progression number one that's in progression number two so you're going to do C over E, you can add the second. So you got E on the left hand, C, D, E, and then G on the right hand. And then you're going to move to F sharp diminish, and then add an F, and you're going to put it over D. Okay, left hand is D, A, D, that's dad, right? This is what I'm doing with the right hand. These first three notes, F sharp, A, C, that's called an F minish diminish. I just said F, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's an F sharp diminished chord. Sorry about that. It's like three in the morning. I fell asleep at least three times before pressing record on this. So just, just bear with me. You probably can hear it in my voice. Okay, so it's F sharp, A, C, and what I'm doing is adding an F to keep the name of the chord 
from being A minor six flat sharp five six. It's, it's like I, I said, it'll be simple if I just say F sharp diminish, add F. So that's what it'll say over there. F sharp diminish, add F. And you're going to put it over D. Dad, okay? And then all you're going to do, the next the chord after that, is just take that F that you added, move it down to E flat. Okay? And that's called an F sharp diminished 7. And it's still over Dad. Okay? So you're going like that. Um, you're doing... That's all you're doing. You're moving that. You got that F. Move it to the E flat. Make now this chord right here is an F sharp diminished seven. Okay. Both of those chords over D. Okay. That's your third time through the song. Now we're going to move to chord progression number three. This is the fourth time you're playing your series of chords, and these are different too. You have some added stuff in this one. So you start with the D minor, <clears throat> first inversion on the right hand, over G in the bass again. That hasn't changed. You're doing your A flat major seven flat five over B flat again. Last time I told you move, put it over E, go right back to putting it over B flat again. Okay. For those that need to see what the chord looks like because they forgot it, B flat, left hand, A flat, C, D, G on the right hand. And now you're going to do E minor 9. Okay, so you got E, B, E on the left hand, G, B as in boy, D, F sharp on the right hand. And then you're going to move down to a E diminished 7 over A. Okay, A on the left hand, E, G, then you got B flat, D flat on the right hand. Saw this in my um, Joe to see Lately video, which was the last video I recorded. <laughs> Same chord, and it was over A in that video too. Sometimes, and sometimes it was over something else. I forgot, but anyway, not thinking about that. Then you're going to move to your B flat minor. Over E flat. I forgot to write the flat on here, so let me just do it now before I send this chord sheet out and forget. There we go. Okay, so you're going to move to B flat minor over E flat again, just like you played it all the other times. And then you're going to keep the B flat minor and just put it over A flat. And there's some type of melody that'll go. It's like they're basically going G flat. A flat, B flat, C. You might want to add that. It's like they'll go and then that's it. That's the whole cycle over. It does that cycle over and over again. So again, it'll do chord progression one. That's this one. Play that again. Chord progression one on the sheet that I have. Then B minor over E flat. Then the A flat major 13th. Now you're gonna go to chord progression two. This is when you put this over E. Uh-huh. The B flat minor over E flat. And then you got C over E. And with that F sharp diminish adds F and then F sharp diminish. 7th over D. Both of those chords over D. And then the last time you go, you always, every single time you come to this D minor over G, every single time, then you got your A flat major 7 flat 5 over B flat again. Now this time you're going to do E minor 9. And then you jump down to E diminished 7 over A. And then B flat over E flat. Let me say that again. B flat minor. B flat minor over E flat. And then B flat minor over A flat. And you can just add that, you know, G 
G flat, A flat, B flat, C. Listen to the track and you'll hear what I'm talking about. And then they go right back to the, again. And so they do that over and over again. And like I say, listen to the track, but that's the cycle. Now, the only other thing to show you is the chords that they use for the bridge. So after they're finished, eventually you'll hear something that'll go. Right? It's like it's like real quick. It comes real quick. It's like they'll play. It's like when I guess after they finish singing the verse and the chorus a couple of times, you'll hear chord progression number one without this chord. I, th I think this is the chord that they skip. This is the A flat major 13th chord. They skip it. So they'll go. And then you'll hear. Okay, and then it goes to the bridge, I would call it, okay? So when you hear that part, this is what they're doing, that little progression. Real simple. The first chord is E minor over A. There you go. A, E, A, left hand. E, G, B. The next chord that they play is a B flat minor over A flat. A flat, E flat, A flat on your left hand. D flat, F, B flat on your right hand. And then go to D minor over G. I'm only playing it um, in this, use, use it every time I play this D minor over G. I said first inversion, but in this one, in order to do this progression right, just play it this way. So this is still D minor over G, but um, this is root position D minor. So G, D, G, left hand, D, F, A, right hand. And then the last one is an A flat minor over F flat. And that's what this is, believe it or not. And I'll explain why it's still an A-flat minor over F-flat. You can probably call it a couple of other things, but I always try to, to do the easiest name if I can. So F-sharp, C-sharp, F-sharp on the left hand. On the right hand, you got B as in boy, D-sharp, that's D as in door, and G-sharp. Now, why do I say this is an A flat minor? Um, because it is. It's an inversion <laughs> of it. Um, if you take this B and put it right here, technically it's C flat. C flat technically. But we'll just say B just to make it simpler. And I take this E flat and I put it right here. There you go, A flat minor. A flat major, minor. Okay, so that's the reason why I'm using for the. I'm just doing a little minor theory here, just in case somebody didn't see that. And you got F sharp right there, so you got. Okay, now the next series of chords. None of this is repeated, so I'm going to just show you each chord. I'm gonna go through it, just show each chord, and after I show every single chord. I'll play it the way the bridge plays it. This is the first chord. This is a F um, minor nine. F, C, F on the left hand. And basically on this right hand, you have a A flat major seven for the first time. Usually you keep doing flat five, right? Don't worry, it's coming up because the next chord you're gonna be doing flat five again. But for this chord, just A flat, C, E flat, G on your right hand. When you add it to the F, F minor 9. Now, with your next chord, you're going to go right back to your A flat major 7, flat 5 over B flat. On your right hand, the only thing you have to do to accomplish that is to take this E flat, bring it down to D. Your right hand is okay now. Put it back over B flat. You done played this chord several times by the time you get here. So you get, uh, so that's the second chord. Now the third chord is an E flat major nine. Ah, they get real. They they put a whole bunch of these major nine chords, and they sound so nice. Oh my goodness, E flat 
B flat, E flat left hand. On your right hand, this is this is a G minor seven chord on your right hand. G, B flat, D, F. Put it all together. It's a major nine, E flat major nine. Then you're gonna play. Now you've played this already. This is that F sharp diminished. Add F and putting it over D. So D A D. And the right hand is F sharp. A, C, that's your F sharp diminish, add F over D. And this time, you're not going to go to the F sharp diminish 7 like you did the last time. From here, you're going to go to a D flat major 9. So now you got flat dad on your left hand. D flat, A flat, D flat. Right hand, F, A flat. C, E flat. Okay. And then your next chord is going to be a G flat major nine. If you really want to play it, the sweet, you can play it this way. G flat, D flat, G flat on your left hand. You got B flat minor seven on your right hand. B flat, D flat, F, A flat. Sorry, I'm sorry, I, did not, I just said G flat, right? So why am I on E flat? Okay. Now, if you want to, uh, I think on the recording, I don't know if the A, if I heard the A flat on top. So if you want to put this A flat and play it right there and play your chord that way, I think this is the way I heard it on the recording this way, but that sounds fatter to me. They're both G flat major nines. You choose your inversion. Your next chord is going to be a B major 9. Okay. B, F sharp, B on the left hand. Um, if it's too muddy, take the F sharp out. On your right hand, you basically have um, B flat, D flat, E flat, G flat. Okay. And then you have E minor 9. Again, we had this earlier, right? E, B, E, left hand. G, B, D, F sharp is your right hand. And then you're going to do a G6 chord over A. And you got A in the left hand, double A. And on the right hand, instead of doing your regular G major chord, which is one, three, five, all I'm saying is forget about the five and go to the sixth note. That's called a G6 chord, okay? Put it over A. And then you want to play B flat minor over E again, which you've played this several times to the song. Oh, the, I, I think every single progression that I've taught you has that chord in it. <laughs> okay, and that's the end of the bridge. So this is how the bridge sounds all together. Uh, it's like, it reminds you of Earth, Wind, and Fire. Hold on for a second. The, the sound of it. Progression number one. Dun, dun, dun. That's the whole song right there. I, I, all I did was go back to chord progression one, which was the first set of chords I showed you. But that's all you do with that bridge. One more time for the bridge. You just got that. Do, 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 do. Then, Sorry. And then you back to. Okay, so there you go. That's your song. I, I can't really sing it because I don't know it that well, but uh, man, those chords are real nice. And what I'll do um, is I'll put the um, link 
to the recording that I listened to to learn this song. I have the link in the description too, so all you gotta do is just click it. I'm telling you, it's nice. It's, it's a band. It's, sounds like it's um, you know, it's not like that many studio making you know using synthesizers. It sounds like it's like a real band. That's what it sounds like. It's like a real band, like mint condition type stuff, but um, different group of cats. You know what I'm saying? They got a different feel, a different sound, but um, sounds real good, man. I, I would check it out. If you want the chord sheet, uh, send a two dollar donation to the PayPal um, for a Word version of version on MS Word uh, or a PDF file, either or. If you want me to send both the Microsoft Word and the PDF, just send a $3 donation on the PayPal. If you would like to request a video tutorial, piano tutorial, um, I'm asking now, just started doing this for no less than $20. Be sent to the PayPal with your tutorial request. Uh, it, again, not going to go into anything long. It takes a long time to get this stuff prepared, you know. And I'm trying to see if I could do this full time so that I can really keep this channel and keep building it up. And speaking of doing this full time and building the channel, I also have a Patreon page. I, um, I only have two people on it, but one of the people that's on it, Mr. Walter Kelly, after his first initial charge, he decided to go from $10 a month to $15 a month. And he just sent them money for tutorials for two songs, too. So... <laughs> So I'm just saying thank you, Walter Kelly. I did notice that. Um, so there's ways you can support. So if you, you might say, I can't really pay you $20 to do tutorials, but I have like over 70 different songs on here. So if you're sitting here and you're learning the songs and you're using them, you know what I'm saying? At least become a Patreon for as small as, as little as $1 a month. And that way you're still helping the page grow. Okay, you know what I'm saying? And as the Patreon builds up, I can do different contests where your $1 a month might get you a tutorial done because I might do a random drawing and just say whoever, you know, do those internet things and just ran let, let it randomly pick someone and say, okay, what song you want me to do? You know what I'm saying? So let's, let's, let's build it up. Let's support. Let's support. That's all I'm saying. Let's support. All right, y'all. Um, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.